Hey everyone, this is London Bridge Bricks, and welcome to this week's Lego Haul. Now, until I put all these sets together, I didn't actually realise there's a bit of a theme to this week's Lego Haul, so see if you can spot the theme as the video unfolds. As always, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to London Bridge Bricks, please do hit that subscribe button and become a big part of the LBB family. Enjoy the video, and let me know your thoughts on what I've purchased in the comments below. So, starting with the smallest, and this really is the smallest, folks, here we have a Lego Junior set. Now, this is set number 10759, and it's the Elastigirl Rooftop Pursuit. Now, you're probably thinking, why, oh why, Greg, are you buying a set like this? Well, let's take a look at it. I mean, it's a pretty cool looking set. Yeah, okay, it's kind of a junior set, and it's aged for people between ages four and seven, which, okay, I admit, is a bit, you know, is a bit young. Um, but if you look at this, look, we've got a motorbike, we've got a helicopter. But the main thing I like about this set is look at Lasty Girl. She is absolutely fabulous. I'm loving it. Uh, this is uh, taken from the Incredibles 2 movie, of course. And okay, normally speaking, these sets are actually quite expensive. It retails in the UK uh, for roughly 20 pounds or so. But I managed to pick it up from Argos for a mere seven pounds 50, which is an absolute bargain because this figure alone is worth that. I mean, she is, I mean, she's hilarious. Look at her, look at her elasticated arms. Uh, I just, occasionally, uh, I do like buying loose figures, as of course you all know. Uh, and I like to collect ones that are just a little bit different. Now, I haven't really got anything at all, I don't believe, from uh, the Incredibles movies or anything like that. And this minifigure absolutely uh, ticks all the boxes for me. It's just kind of different, isn't it? But anyway, look at, let's have a look at the back here, the elements in for this helicopter. I mean, that, that won't take, I mean, this whole set will probably take about 10, 15 minutes tops to build. Uh, you've got the helicopter itself. It's it's kind of easy to build. with one, two, three, four, you know, five sections to it. There's not really a lot to it at all. Um, but look at this element here, that one there on the helipad. Look at that. That's, a, that's an eight by eight uh, plate. And it's made to look with this kind of meshed, metallic look about it and we've got this uh, CB here we've got this um, really cool looking uh, laptop as well we've got this this kind of radar dish sending out signals you know it's you know for seven pound fifty this is a really good little bargain and uh, you never know it might even be a set that I build on a live stream and even better still I'll actually finish it but anyway let me know what you think on this set folks and if you've actually built any of these kind of junior sets um, I think some of them are actually pretty good. There's a good Batman one out there. I know Brickinitz bought a Batman one recently, actually. And uh, I think only some of them on merit are actually quite good and just useful. And of course, if you, anyone out there is building cities or anything like that, there's always going to be these pretty cool looking elements. But there we go. There's our, there's our motorbike. It looks pretty good, actually. It's a bit plain looking, mine, being a bit grey. But I've got to say, it's, it's, at least it's sporty. And of course, we've got this funky helicopter here with this hypnotising uh, dish on top. So yeah, I think, I think we've got ourselves some decent looking uh, elements there. Something quite useful. But anyway, that's the first set. And that's the, uh, that's the Junior's Elasti Rooftop of Pursuit. And it's set number 10759. So I bought this one quite some time ago, and then I kind of had it in a Lego haul kind of months ago. But this one, uh, I got a lot cheaper than the normal price. So the normal retail price of these, these new Speed Champions for 2020 is, uh, is normally £18, which, you know what, for 298 parts, really isn't that bad. But anyway, uh, Amazon have been doing a sale recently with all their new uh, Speed Champion 2020 sets for £14.40, which I think is actually really good value for money. Of course, with this particular one, I mean, it's a cool looking set. So it's set number 76896, the Nissan GTR Nismo, which actually, take away all the stickers, uh, actually looks pretty good. That said, Speed Champions, oh my word, they do come with a lot of stickers and this set is not any different. Now, I believe the actual bonnet itself is actually a printed piece, which is really good. So fantastic, 10 out of 10 for that Lego. But all these here, like I've said before, these are all stickers and that is quite hard to line those all up. So you kind of have to build the set and then a 
apply uh, the stickers to it. All in, this set might feature 298 parts, but boy, it features 26, I repeat, 26 stickers, which is an awful lot for something that's, I don't know, no bigger than my hand. I mean, where do you put 26 stickers? Well, when I get around to building this, I'll find out. But on the back here, it comes with a decent minifigure. Of course, with all these new uh, eight stud wide uh, speed champions, uh, we get two seats as well. And this particular figure uh, is pretty cool looking. He's got a the Nissan driver. Do we get like a, a scaled version of him on here? No, doesn't look like we do actually. That was quite nice though. It's very, um, very quite minimalistic kind of artwork on the go there with the, with the checkered flag. And there's your one-to-one -one scale with the wheel. I mean, it's a really cool looking car. Look at that, got that nice spoiler at the back actually, which you, oh, you do kind of make it out there, but you know, kind of, you know, wheel spinning around those corners. It looks cool. It's a really nice set. I am looking forward to building it. I may build one uh, that is just all white because I'm kind of read up on quite a lot about that. And with that, if I do that, then obviously I need to get this bonnet, but that bonnet, is apparently quite a regular sort of Lego par that I can get from Bricklink as well. But yeah, I am looking forward to building it. Uh, I'm just, as always with Lego Speed Champions, I'm just not lo looking forward <laughs> to applying those stickers because um, I'm not joking. I mean, I'm not the fastest builder in the world, but I can honestly say 20, adding 26 stickers to this will basically most likely double my uh, my build time with this set. But anyway, if you've actually spilt, if you've actually built this uh, set out there, uh, set number 7696, let me know in the comments below what you liked about it and what you didn't like about it, because I, I, I bet some of you out there didn't like applying all those stickers. But let me know, actually, just to add, uh, generally, what do you think of the range of the new Speed Champions and how, and how that compares to the 2019 version of those uh, Speed Champions as well. So this is, this is the Nissan GTR Nismo Set number 76896. Now this set isn't only a lot bigger than the first two, it's also a bit of a special set as well. So I've got to thank uh, Brick in it and Brett's Build and uh, Solo Brick Builder for talking me into getting this set because I'm thinking of actually making my own Lego City. And of course every Lego City at least the majority of them, always have a fine train set going around them. Now, I've still got work to do on this one. I've still got work to do on the Lego City, if I'm honest. I haven't even thought of a name for it yet. It could be London, Londinium, New London. Who knows? If you've got any thoughts about a name of a city for me, uh, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, back to this set. It's the Harry Potter Hogwarts Express, set number 75955. Now, it normally retails here in the UK at £75, but I managed to get it for a bargain. 61 pounds from iWoot, uh, which is the first time I've actually shopped there. But anyway, they were doing a, a, a really good deal on it. So I thought, I'm gonna get that. And with that, if and when one day I get my city set up and uh, I get the tracks down and everything like that, I'm gonna have to convert this because uh, it, it doesn't uh, naturally uh, lend itself to being motorized, but it can be done, folks. It can be done. So watch this space anyway. So what do we get with this set? Well, we get the fine train set. Um, this is a print here. We've got a print here as well for the Hogwarts Castle and the Hogwarts Express. I mean, the coloration, I just think looks absolutely fabulous. We get the uh, the classic platform as well at King's Cross with uh, platform nine and three quarters. And we get this, this kind of nice set made up over here. We've got this uh, crossover bridge as well, which looks really nice. And um, we get a, a really fine set of minifigures. So we get ourselves a Hermione, uh, a young version of Hermione. We get a young Harry Potter, uh, a young Ron Weasley is there. I like his hair piece there. Um, what else have we got over here? We've got this Remus, uh, Professor Remus Lupin, and we get, where is she? Where is she on here? There she is, there. We get ourselves the Trolley Witch. And we get this Dementor as well. He's quite a cool looking character. Look at that. Look at the way they've, they've kind of made him look all uh, wispy and uh, like all spirit-like. It looks pretty cool, actually. Um, so yeah, this kind of set, there we go. It's King's Cross there. That's a sticker, uh, that is. I think the majority of the stickers on this set are actually on the platform itself. But like I said, we've got ourselves the, the Hogwarts Express. I mean, look at it, the coloration's fine. It's an absolute classic looking train. Let's have a look on the back then so we can see how we kind of access all the various bits and pieces here. So we've got, obviously got the main engine itself. I mean, that looks brilliant, doesn't it? It's just classic looking. Uh, we've got the tender here, which I, is the part that would have to be made bigger to accommodate the motor. And then to get into the, the single 
passenger carriage, um, you just kind of uh, take the roof off and then you kind of lift off uh, the side wall there and then boom, you're in. There's a, there's a young Harry there uh, with his uh, with his wand uh, trying to trying to speak off the uh, the benters and come up with uh, some nifty uh, little spell. Uh, there's the trolley witch there. There's the trolley witch over here as well. This is this is quite a nice scene eh, actually here, just kind of showing it off. And and there's the secret wall uh, to access the uh, the nine and three quarter platform. Now I'm I'm pretty new to uh, Harry Potter. I think I've, I've built one set recently, uh, which is the Enta Enchanted Fo uh, Forest um, with uh, Umbridge's Encounter, which is a, a really cool set. I highly recommend that. That's one of the, the new summer ones for 2020. And I was taken aback by it. I actually really enjoyed it. So I don't know, maybe I need to um, immerse myself in the, in the world of Harry Potter. Maybe uh, read some books or uh, yeah, watch all the films. I don't know, maybe I'll binge watch it one weekend or something like that. But I've got to say, I'm really impressed. It's, I mean, I, I used to love trains when I was a kid. I really did. And if I have a city, the train set is definitely where I want to go. And this is going to be the train uh, that hopefully at some point or other, I will motorize and, uh, and I will um, get it going and going around or maybe up and down, around around in the city itself. But yeah, um, if you've, if you've any of you ever out there have ever built this set, let me know what your thoughts on that are. I know there's been a, a couple of iterations of this particular uh, train set, but so, so my research, I kind of researched in this set, I looked into it and they kind of, I think the majority of people thought or felt at least that the actual train set itself with the, the engine, the tender and the carriage overall was probably the best best one or the best iteration of the uh, Hogwarts Express that's come. But anyway, that is the Hogwarts Express. It's set number 75955. So once again, this set is even bigger than the last one and completes our Lego themed haul for the week. There we are, folks. This is the Creator 31109 3-in-1 Pirate Ship. How about that then, hey? So again, a bit like the Hogwarts Express, it kind of tugs on a few nostalgic uh, strings. I've got to say, I mean, there's been a couple of pirate themed bits and pieces out by Lego at the moment. Uh, none more so, of course, than the Barracuda Bay, uh, which is absolutely ginormous. Uh, and check out people like uh, Solo Brick Builder, who's built that recently and even converted it as well. But by the time you would have actually have seen this on, on the whole, I would have actually built it on Sunday, just gone. So do check back at that. Check the, the card above uh, and follow the link. And maybe I'll even pop a link in the description below. So do that and you'll see, kind of see me building it. Um, and then while I'm actually talking about other Lego YouTubers, uh, I'm actually going to be reviewing it as well with bricking it. Uh, in the next week or so. So do watch out for that. We'll be uh, announcing some collaborative work that I'm going to be doing with Brick in it as well. So look out for that, folks. I'm really excited by that. So why did I get this one instead of Barracuda Bay? Well, I tell you what, right? This one I kind of prefer in the sense that it comes with brick sails. And a lot of people actually don't like brick sails. They prefer cloth sails like that one came with. So I'm just interested to know what this kind of looks like in comparison uh, to the Barracuda Bay, which is kind of along the lines of what myself and Brick in it uh, will be doing in the next week or so. Again, so watch out for that, folks. And not even get like a little skull island on the back there. But with that in mind, let's take a look over here at these. These are the alternative builds. You've got some sort of what looks like a mill there uh, to me. You've got some sort of horse and cart and got this mill, this water mill over there, this old looking building. And then over here, we've got this Skull Island. And that's even a bit of a thing, actually. You look at the new Ninjago Summer 2020 sets and there's kind of like a Skull Island on that as well. So everything's very Skull-esque at the moment. It's very in. And look, even up here in the mast area, in the lookout mast, we get a skeleton up there and look how there's um, those pieces there, those elements make up that very nice looking skull. Even, it almost looks like the Punisher, doesn't it? The Pun you look up Marvel's Punisher, that uh, logo there looks a little bit like him. But anyway, we get, it looks like we've got three figures here. Um, we've got this parrot over there. We've got the captain there. Um, we've got the plank. Hey, we've got the, the, the classic plank. Um, we've got the, the sword there, the swashbuckling pirate. And, uh, and we've got a very happy 
looking shark. That's probably the happiest shark I've ever seen, uh, if I'm honest. It's, it's it, I take away that feeling. You've got yourself a dolphin, really. But here's the thing. This is something I never noticed until I actually got the set out of the box from Lego. We've got ourselves a little mermaid on the front as well, which is kind of cool. Anyway, let's, uh, let's take a look around. Uh, now, I picked this set up for... Uh, the retail price, which is £90, but it also came with a gift we've purchased, which was the uh, the Lego Hot Rod, which is a really nice little set, actually, but I didn't actually keep it. I sold that on. So I, I managed to get uh, £25 for that, actually, which kind of brought the price of this down to, you know, a, a very reasonably cheap price for the uh, for the park content especially anyway so even though this retails at 90 pounds it comes with a really good park count of 1264 which is brilliant now here we go there's that skull island it's a much closer look of it and it really does genuinely look like a skull i mean you've got the uh, the elements there of the sow which are in there and that works really really well for it i love what they've done there with the teeth that looks good we've got ourselves some rafts over here as well we've got the where you can see where the the wind's blowing on the sa little sow there blowing that in that's good there's this is actually a better view of the uh, of the mill we've got the, <laughs> got the mast over there that looks like something out of mary poppins that does um we've got ourselves another take on the on the parrot we've got the mill there and I don't know, it looks, it looks, just looks really, really colourful. Uh, got a horse there and the horse and cart. But over here, this is, okay, I admit, looking at the sails from this angle probably doesn't look that great. It always looks kind of bubbly, I suppose you could uh, could say. But look at the back here, folks. I mean, look at that coloration there. You've got all that pearl gold, got these lovely old looking windows. There's Mr. Happy Shark over there. You've got the, even got an anchor. I didn't even know, notice that before. There's, there's our parrot again. Um, and, but the sails, the sails look like the, the, the kind of winds caught it. And there we go there, look, there's a, that little piece of art there. It's like a UCS set when you kind of, you're looking for clues of what the next UCS set could be. But yeah, I, I, I don't know, it just kind of pulls on the nostalgic uh, strings. I think Lego, it's really weird because to me, at the moment, Lego seem to have a pirate theme on the go. Yet there isn't actually a pirate theme out there, but there's lots of pirate theme stuff. Anyway, people are loving all the pirate stuff, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Here's the here's the captain's quarters over there, and that's how you access it. There, it doesn't look too particularly big, but at least it's accessible. Um, but I've got to say, probably the best angle uh, to look at this ship at. It's probably the front. I mean, look at that. Those sails, they look great. I mean, it's a great looking. Uh, ship and I can't wait to build it. Of course, by the time you're watching this video, I'd have already made a good start on that. So do check back at that. And uh, yeah, and that kind of finishes my last set in the hall uh, this week. And uh, it certainly finishes uh, the last kind of themed one as well. So anyway, that's that. It's set number 31109 and it's the Creator 3 in 1 Pirate Ship. And that's it for this week, folks. Hope you've enjoyed watching this modes of transport theme Lego haul and hope you're enjoying watching more of these Lego haul videos from me. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on all that and what your thoughts are on these sets and if there are any in particular that you would like to see me build first. And if you'd like to keep up to date with what's going on with the channel, you can follow London Bridge Bricks on Twitter and Instagram. And if you're new to London Bridge Bricks, please do hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell and become a big part of the LBB family. For now, I'll leave you with some videos that I think you might like.